Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. It is March the 8th, 2024. Let's talk boxing. But first, remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Well, Steve Butler delivered for us, right? I believe I made a members-only video here. And Steve Butler in a middleweight fight against Steve Rolls, where the line was relatively even. You got Steve Butler at a minus 103. That's just a smidge less than even money, right? Bet $103 to win $100. And he delivered, and folks, he did so quickly. First round KO. Picture perfect right hand. Steve Rolls, who's backing up, is literally out on his feet, leaning against the ropes, right? Does not fall to the canvas. The referee helps save his career by jumping in when it's clear that Rolls did not know what was going on. Let me make a few points here. First, Rolls truly did not know what was going on. After the fight was over, Steve Rolls was in his corner asking his corner what happened, right? He did not know that he had just been stopped. In other words, this would be like waking up in the ring and being told that the fight has already taken place. Let's talk about Steve Butler. Let me just say the Steve Butler story is intertwined with Janabek's story. Understand, Janabek destroyed Butler early in a recent fight. You need to realize that the unified middleweight champion is a handful to deal with. As for Butler, Butler is now working with John the Iceman Scully. Now, you might remember him because he has another client named Arthur Berturbiev. Right, Butler? Height, 28 years old, he's in his prime, punching power with both hands. You saw the right hand here, but folks, he has a left hand. He has length in the short fight footage that exists, and I have the fight in my favorites folder here on YouTube. You're going to notice that Rolls tries to just stick a jab on Butler's body, and Butler takes the shots. Because understand, Butler wants to remain in position to throw his bombs. In other words, if Butler's going to come in and just throw some jabs, I'll take the jabs so I can stay in position to throw my power shots. Now, I do believe there are a couple of middleweights better than Butler. Right? You heard me mention Janabek earlier. I would also mention Hamsa Shiraz. A name you need to know, right? But just understand, Butler is big time. The fact that he's already fought for the middleweight title tells you about the trajectory of this young fighter's career. And folks, he's younger than Jean Beck, right? Just food for thought. I want people to realize that this guy is a handful. Congratulations to those of you who collected on the bet. Um, if you bet on this fight, in the comment section of this video, tell us the odds you got and uh, tell us the time when you place the bet. Okay? I understand many people won't want to reveal that information. I myself love betting privacy, so I'll respect whatever you do. But the world needs to figure out that, number one, Canada is a hotbed for boxers. This is a bullish time for Canadian boxing. Number two, you have some guys who the public doesn't know about, who are world class and who are doing some big things. You know, Steve Rolls was really known for having a great chin coming into this fight. Keep in mind, Steve Rolls himself had fought Gennady Golovkin back in the day. Right? Rolls is a guy who's tough to hurt. He's tough to stop. 
Folks, here he does not make it out of the first round. Right? That right hand from Steve Butler is picture perfect. It's worth a look. Thanks for stopping by. Let me hear your thoughts in the comment section of this YouTube video.